what is going to happen to the religions in the future are the different religions going to continue as different as they exist today or will they merge into spirituality minds are many but you don't use the word plural consciousnesses we speak only of consciousness what is the scientific approach to religion and spirituality einstein is supposed to be the most uh, intuitive genius in the field of science he got nobel prize for the photoelectric effect the effect was observed by others before einstein but he gave the mathematics for it and then only it became accepted by the physics community he showed that uh, time velocity mass mass etc are related contrary to our uh, everyday experience and he showed that uh, <coughs> gravity is not a force but simply the change in path motion path of objects in the presence of a mass we are all moving through space time and uh, objects are also moving through space time and when there is a, a mass placed in the path then there's a deviation in the path and this is what we experience as gravity and uh, this theory as well as uh, the mathematics of this theory predicted uh, the formation of uh, black holes and things like that and therefore einstein's view of uh, gravity is more acceptable today than uh, newton's concept of force so what does have einstein to say about the paranormal einstein had a friend by name upton sinclair sinclair was a paranormal investigator his wife was uh, psychic and uh, could demonstrate telepathy and uh, sinclair wrote a book called the mental radio and einstein wrote the foreword to this book singler took einstein to a science that is to the performance of a psychic medium it seems that uh, during the science uh, table a table uh, shook or vibrate vibrated without anybody touching but uh, uh, there was not much else and uh, Uh, Sinclair said that uh, nothing else could happen because of uh, the presence of some people who were um, psi suppressors and not psi facilitators. But later on, Einstein met another psychic uh, by name Jean Dennis. and uh, and i think and uh, einstein witnessed her performance and later in public declared that she is genuine so obviously einstein is not a materialist he does not think that the regularities of uh, nature are absolute so the regularities of nature which we observe as uh, laws of nature are relative Uh, there is a physicist or um, uh, there was a physicist by name george sutherson who just missed the nobel prize he has uh, proposed a theory uh, called the field of uh, all possibilities his theory is that uh, um, <clears throat> the operation of uh, laws of nature 
are uh, contingent on state of consciousness. When uh, the state of consciousness of the observer goes to absolute level, all the regularities do not operate. That is, uh, you transcend the regularities. So there are many th uh, theories today which try to incorporate the paranormal into the framework of uh, science. Now, one crucial question is, why is it that we believe in one particular religion? Uh, somebody says, I am a Christian. Another person says he believes in Islam. But there are numerous religions in the world. In the, in the matter of science, you don't uh, believe in one particular theory. You don't believe in uh, Newton's theory and uh, refute uh, Einstein. But, but you study all theories and you go by empirical evidence. When, when there is more evidence for support of one theory, you accept it rather than another theory. Why don't you do this in the matter of religion? The reason is that when we have existential fear or insecurity, you freeze. Your uh, cerebral cortex doesn't function anymore. You don't want to face reality. See, when you go to the beach in the evening, or when you go to the mountain top in the morning, you experience deautomatization. That is, you, to some extent, cease being a machine. Your mind opens up. At that time, you are in for an opening up of the psyche. But if you are having too much of fear or inertia in your personality, you immediately freeze and you immediately want to worship somebody. So immediately you create an idol there or create a mental image and you immediately bow to that. And that prevents your real opening up. So this is what happens with all religions. When the mind starts opening up, you are scared. You don't want to lose your individuality. You don't want to de-automatize. You want to be secure in a cage. If you rear uh, an animal in a cage and after several years open the cage, the animal will walk back into the cage because it is afraid of openness. It prefers the security of the cage rather than freedom of openness. If you take a frog from a well and uh, allow it to wander freely, it will jump back into the well because it feels secure in the well. So that is what human beings are doing. They want the security of one religion, the security of belonging to a group. The religion is just a mark. But science, on the other hand, opens up your mind. It makes you face reality. And the indeterminateness involved in uh, reality, it opens you to the mystery of existence. So that is what is happening now. The, the fast increasing number of people not mentioning any particular religion in which they believe is increasing very fast. It is around one-fourth in the more developed countries. That is, they are not materialists. Uh, they don't uh, deny the existence of God. But they don't like to say that I belong to this particular religion. So they may practice meditation. Um, uh, they may read different religions. They may go and worship in um, places where uh, different religions are practiced or different gods are worshipped. That is, uh, they don't need 
a rigid identification to any one particular dogma. They are open to discussions, philosophical um, discourses, and they keep an open mind. They don't need to find security in any blind dogma or belief. I think this is what the world is going to. That is, uh, the world is abandoning the need to find security in any one uh, religious dogma and one set of ceremonies and practices. But people are opening up and uh, they are opening up to a new era of openness and freedom.